Good afternoon, travelers. You are watching Traveling with the Graham Cracker, and I am the Graham Cracker. Thank you for tuning in and watching. And uh, this week, I'll show you some things that we did this week and some of the progress we've made to the homestead. We're still parked. We're parked until probably the end of October when the weather changes, and then we'll be traveling south. So for now, we're just parked on the uh, property here, which I am affectionately calling Peaks View Acres. It is not a farm, it is not a homestead, it is not a ranch, it's just acreage right now. Um, it's my place to stop and stay in the spring and in the summer and in the fall at this point. And uh, staying here as long as possible to get some things done to make it livable, make it functioning property, because as you know, our economy and our world is going to I won't say it in a handbag, and uh, there may come a time to where I will not be able to travel at all. The gasoline this year has put a crunch on a lot of travelers, so I'm really fortunate to have this piece of property. Uh, I live in the northwest Arizona desert, up about 6,100 feet. I have five acres of land, and uh, it's just me and my dogs that live here. And I'll let you see here. The big yellow lab is Jake, and he is almost 13. He does have to be tethered because Jake decides he wants to wander and he does not come back. The little one is a Russian toy terrier, and his name is Quark, and he will be two in October. And uh, he's proving out to be a really good mouser and good lizard hunter. Yes, I'm talking about you, Quark. And he's just a bundle of energy. Lots of fun to be with. Jakey boy is in his twilight years. And he's doing pretty good. Uh, he uh, does have a little trouble breathing when it gets hot out here. And uh, he has a lot of trouble walking anymore. So I don't want to let him loose and wander on the property. And he goes over to the neighbors. Cause, and uh, I don't want him shot. So he has to stay tethered to me or to the van or to wherever we are uh, we go walking a couple times a day so he gets his walks in and uh, right now he's just enjoying being outside those are my two dogs and for those of you that have never tuned in to this channel um, I am uh, a Christian Christian man and uh, um, I do not uh, persuade you to follow my beliefs in one way at all. I uh, just let you know uh, I do believe that America is a great country and I hope and I pray that it gets better all the time. But uh, right now I'm seeing a downturn. Anyway, um, I enjoy traveling. I've been on the road now for seven years and I live in a 19 foot eight foot wide van uh, it's a 1997 dodge b3500 wide one and i'm standing in front of my kitchen at the moment and uh, i enjoy living in my van and i enjoy being out on the road and i also enjoy staying out on my property so today i'm going to take you with some of the things that i've been doing on the property go back and see videos if you have not uh, there's lots of travel videos from the previous years, and there's also some uh, updates to the property over the last season. Um, I have not officially been here very long at all. I think this is my second season uh, on the property here. Anyway, I hope you like the video. If you do, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Every time you give us a thumbs up and you watch the video, um, we get moved up in the algorithm, which helps us to get our videos out there, get us known, and it also helps me financially. Um, also, check out the links below this video for our webpage, not our webpage, excuse me, my email, our Facebook page, PayPal to send us a cup of coffee, a treat for the dogs, gasoline, whatever. If nothing, fine, we're good with that. Also, I have an Amazon wish list down below, and um, 
If you all have suggestions of what would be good things for the property, let me know and we'll see about adding them to the wish list. Anyway, um, also, 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 one more thing. There's also Teespring now attached to the bottom of each video. And so you can buy direct right there from the video and order stickers, mugs, t-shirts, sweatshirts, leggings, beach towels, all kinds of things. And also below the video, there's a brand new thing down there. It's got a little heart and it's got a little dollar sign in there. So uh, if you really love the videos and you want to help us continue to produce videos and continue to be able to do this stuff, just click on that and um, Amazon takes care of everything else. All right, well, without further ado, we're gonna get into the video and we will see you in a minute. We're doing an unboxing here. Uh, subscriber sent through the Amazon wish list a drinking water hose, which is uh, super, super important. And it's a very good looking hose, thank you very much. And uh, these, these here are brass, quick connect fittings and uh, we're we are having it we are having a monsoon outside look at look at outside it's just pouring rain out there it's just raining 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 corks here to watch are you here to watch Clark? you are you're here to watch good boy he wants in my lap Anyway, back to the unboxing. Um, I'm not sure what this is. I know what this is. This is for the um, this is for the water tote. Yes. Now I can open it and uh, hook a hose to it, that hose to it, and get water out of it. Very nice. Thank you very very much. Um, the gift just says from me and I know who sent it so thank you very much very very nice it has a switch uh, USB a 12 volt plug and a voltage DC voltage this is going in the dash of the van um, I'm I want to hook up a solar panel I got to get a solar panel for this I've got a battery in the van and then I'll be able to plug in my phone, my computer and all that. And this is a 2.1 amp. This is a five volt, which is really, really nice. And a 12 volt plug, I do believe this is for charging batteries and that sort of thing from the battery. Yes, perfect. And an on and off switch. Thank you very much me whoever me is I do know who you are thank you so much for sending this and yes um, the pool cover came for the little pool for Jake and I believe in that box would be the pool so I haven't opened that box yet I'll be back in a minute yes this other box was the dog pool for Jake that's a little eight inch because he can't get over the taller poles. It's a little three footer, three foot in diameter, which is just, just right for him. Thank you so very, very much for him. Yes. Well, definitely feel a sense of accomplishment. I mean, the doors are done. They're not as fancy as I wanted them. I had to cut some wood off of them with a sawzall, so that made it very weird looking, but you know what? It's a barn, but it works. The door is a Dutch door. Where are you going, Quark? So it swings. I got split door here going on. What do you got? What do you got? Oh, a bone. Is that a bone? You can have a bone. You can have a bone. Go get it. 
Get it. Go. Just don't choke on it, would you? He swallows things whole. Get it. Where is it? There's a bone. Ouch, you're scratching my leg up. Get it. Attaboy, get it. Get it. Good boy. Yeah. Well, I do have a sense of accomplishment, the workbench, other than a top for it, and then the putting all the tools on it is officially complete. I got the top shelf was super twisted and I used a lot of weight today and weighted it down and twisted that wood right back to where I could screw it in, manipulate it and make it all level and flat. Anyway, it is complete. Next job, finish those walls in the back. They're both in. They're both in there. <coughs> now I gotta finish them. I wanna finish them so that they'll look like those walls up front. It's hard to see because of the light. Anyway, let's see if I can brighten it up. Nope. Brighten it up, there you go. Oof. There you go. Anyway, I want to finish those walls in the back like that. And then I want to put all this stuff away, throw it away, clean it up, do what I got to do. Put all these empty containers away. There's a lot of empty containers right now because I'm putting the stuff away back in the drawers where they belong. So containers will be emptied. These little jars. They're going to get screwed up here, right up here, they're going to get screwed up in there. I like uh, places to put things so that they're not everywhere. It's probably the neatest my workbench is going to be in a long time, but it has absolutely come in handy already. I was able to fix those doors on it and uh, got it all done. Sense of accomplishment. Next thing. The solar shed. Gotta get that done. We're in for another rainstorm. Rained a lot yesterday. It flooded out here. It's supposed to have rain for the next nine days. So, lots of rain. Lots of rain clouds. Low light, not enough solar, not enough battery storage to hold it all. So, we run the generator. The only downside with that is it uses gasoline. Someday I'll put a propane one out here and get a propane tank. That'll be better. But for now, it's gasoline. Ah, oh, lots to clean up out here too. Anyway, that's it for today. I hear cows. Sprinkling. And I hear cows. And there's a rainbow right here above the property. And I'm burning my steak. Check out the roots along the side of that opening, that is the tomato plant root growing around the bottom of the Oya pot. That is so totally cool how that happens. Got to put the pot back before it dries up. Well, pots are going down in water, but um, I got to add more water to them. But the tomato plants roots, this one especially, is growing around the pot. This one I just planted a little bit ago and it's not so much. That over there, let me walk around and I'll show you. These little buggers right there, and there's three of them, are watermelon. And they're coming up and doing the same thing. The root is going to the pot. This I have no idea what it is. 
It could be weed or it could be carrots. I don't know. I don't know what carrots look like. But there's some more over there on the other side of the pot. Um, I don't know if you can see it. They're barely coming out. Barely coming to the surface. And I know this is late in the season. Very late in the season. It's almost August. Most everybody else's stuff is growing. But uh, if this grows, it grows. If it don't, it don't. But um, that right there. And that. And this stuff here is all different kinds of salad greens and I know those will pop up here shortly so that I can you know be able to harvest them it won't take long for them to get going good those should be harvestable way into late fall watermelon we don't have enough time for them to grow and do what they got to do and I don't know if the tomatoes will but in the middle are carrots and over there is carrots and right here is green beans but the green beans I don't think they survived I think the green beans are dust in the wind this year anyway garden update garden update well I got two solar panels up on top of the solar shed you can't really see unless I walk backwards here but I got two up on that side and I'll get the two up today on that side and then put the components inside so right now what we're doing we're going over here to Dusty the tracker and removing the solar system from the roof and moving it over to the solar shed. So uh, that's the first order of business. Um, right now there's no power. I see a red light, so that means there's not enough energy. I'm gonna have to turn on the generator to charge those batteries. And go around and take a look and see how much power we have. Oh, I'm at 11.8. That does not look good. So I'm going to have to start that generator. I hate that. But i got to do that and power up those batteries and charge them up while I take the panels off. So it's off to get the generator started. <sighs> Cloudy days. No sun. Got to run the generator too much. That's gasoline, gasoline, gasoline. Too much gasoline. Anyway, starting the generator, and I'm going to spare you the noise. There we have it. My loud generator is running. I'm laughing because it is not loud, but it's running. We're going to go inside, and oh, great. We're at 48% in here as well. I'm going to take that and set that up to start charging. That's running the house batteries to charge the batteries that are under the floor. So, while we're running the generator, come in here and we're going to unplug the refrigerator and plug it into the generator power. So now the refrigerator is running off generator power instead of inverter. Or the freezer over here is running off the inverter and batteries that'll help the batteries charge and we're not really at 87 percent it says we're at 87 at 12.7 that's not true that's what's coming in right now what's true is we are probably at 58 percent that's upside down and that's inside the van now we go back over to dusty turn on another charger to charge those batteries up that are at 11 8 which is bad news there's just no Sun there hasn't been Sun for a week we've been under that monsoon stuff and not so we'll take this and do the same thing we switch over to standard 
and we're going to 20 amps. It's at 37% right now, which is bad news. And now, I believe we're charging. Now we're charging. Yeah. Yeah, we're charging, putting in more amps into those batteries and get them back up into the green. So while those are charging, I will unbolt those panels off the top so I can get them ready to transfer over because right now I'm not even using them and I will unhook them from the charge controller um, in just a moment and then unhook them from the batteries and go from there. Anyway, right now, that's all being charged. That one. Beautiful, isn't it? And that looks like what's coming. I got a screw in my mouth, sorry. I'm up here trying to put this together and there's the rainbow. Looks like it's gonna rain pretty quick, so I'm gonna put this away and get the busy in to the top of the shed. Well, today's Saturday and there's another wonderful rainy day out here in Arizona. Of course, we need the water, but it makes it difficult to go into town or to go and get anything or do anything but look how green we are we're really green um, I finished the solar shed today uh, I've got 400 watts of solar panels on top of my car topper and then uh, on the inside I brought over the freezer Put it up high enough to where the rats are not going to be happy with making a home under there. Um, put in the batteries, put them up on a shelf, keep them off the ground, keep them dry, keep the rats from eating wires and that sort of thing. Brought in a 40 amp MPPT charge controller that was in the van and I put the uh, other one uh, the one that will do lithium in the van because I'm hopeful to get lithium batteries this winter. Got a 1500 watt inverter and right now it's hooked up to the cord which is going out and under into the shed. The other cord, the big heavy one, that one there, is running the battery charger. My batteries are pretty depleted. Um, they're at 83% right now, but according to this little doodad right here, um, they don't have any battery power at all in them, and it's going to take a while to charge them up. They were pretty dead. Uh, I've been running these uh, off of 200 watts, and it's been super sunny, so it's been okay, uh, and all I've been running is this freezer. This was the goal to get a solar building up and now I can clean up the tracker and get her ready for sale. So I'd like to sell it or trade it for some good lithium batteries for the van. The van is in desperate need of batteries. So all I've got to do now is build this door. I took the broken door off. I'm going to build the door and a wall right here to go in and out so that I can lock it when I leave in the winter. And our windows close, all the windows close except for that one way up front. And I'll have to work on that some more so that it can close. Keep the snow out during the winter time. But, uh, yeah, everything is done except for those that door. So all I got left is woodworking. And uh, now that I have this massive workbench that I can work on things inside out of the rain and I can lay out all my tools, which I've been using all these tools to do my build. Now I got to put everything away. It makes it nice 
we now have a light that's plugged in. I can use that light in here. And uh, I want to test it, make sure it's working. I do want to test it, make sure it's working. Let's see. Yep, it is definitely working. So I've got light in here. It's out of the rain. I can spread out my tools. I can work on things and I can start putting things away and getting this organized. I think I'm done for the day. I'm going to go edit this video so I can get it out. There's no sunshine. Just running the generator. I'm trying to stay dry. Look at that, a jacket. It's almost August. We're in the desert and I am wearing a jacket. It's actually a rain jacket, but it's still a jacket. Hi guys. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Let's see. What do we got here? Hi guys. Yes, Jake's tied up inside because Jake gets super scared of the thunder and he tries to bolt. So he's on a tether. The rain has stopped. He's calmed down and uh, now he can go outside. Mr. Quark is bouncing all over the place. Yes, you jealous dog. Settle down, Quark. Come on, sit, Quark, sit. Good boy, that's a good sit. I didn't tell you to get up. Sit. Good boy, good boy. Now settle down. All right, I'm gonna end this video right about here and uh, so I can get these dogs outside for a little bit. All right, we'll catch you in a minute. Well, I'm going to leave you here with follow your heart, embrace your dreams, and cherish your life. And thanks for coming along this week with me and see what I've done this week on the property. Uh, next week, new challenges, new things, different stuff. So come along with us again and uh, hopefully, hopefully you're enjoying these things. All right, we will catch you later.